Good morning, everyone. My name is Kyle Wilcher. Thank you for clicking on this video. This is day three of practice for the St. Clair Bassmaster Elite Event. This is, uh, yeah, my third day of practice on this lake. We got half a day tomorrow, so we got three and a half days of practice. First day caught like 14 pounds, bunch of largemouth. Yesterday caught like 14 pounds, only smallmouth. And today we're fishing up here in the current on uh, the St. Clair River, and then we're going to Lake Huron in a little while and try to figure out how to catch these big smallmouth. Just kind of something I had to get out of my brain because it's going to be a long run, but I really do feel like you can catch some really big fish up here in this heavy current. So without further ado, I'll try to catch uh, some of these big smallmouth bass. So, first fish of the morning, small one. I don't know, pound and a half or maybe. Maybe not even quite that, maybe like a pound six. I'm putting back in the water real quick. Basically, I'm just throwing a single swim bait up these uh, current seams. So that's what I did right there. Got to a point, makes, makes a little bit of an eddy on the back side of the point. Tie, tossed the uh, swim bait up to it. I mean, turned over the rear handle one time and felt them hit it. So that's kind of what we've been doing. It's just really hard to pinpoint the bigger quality fish. So definitely got the bait they, that they will eat between that and the drop shot. And then just got to find the quality and then just stay in there for eight hours and try to catch as many as we possibly can. So That was the place doing. that you thought you were going to catch one though, right? Yep, that's right where I told Hunter on the map. That's where the current picks back up. You can tell by where how the kind of depth contours are that this is where the current's going to hit again. So as soon as we got there, caught one. Okay, we're finishing up practice now. I'm reloading my tournament box. I keep in the boat with some Titan Tungsten now. You know, it's really important to have companies that are gonna make you a priority and make sure you get the stuff you need when you're on the road for 
well, an entire month now. So, got me a shipment in from K9. Got some new braid from my spin rods. Got some Titan Tungsten Untamed Tackle. Sent me some stuff for the St. Lawrence River just a week ago. Or, that's actually been like three weeks ago now. So, it's nice to have companies like that that'll make you a priority and get everything ready. But, just putting the final touches on getting prepared. Trying to make sure we don't run out of tungsten weights for tomorrow. Alright, so, the... Third day of practice, we decided to fish in the St. Clair River, the north side of it, right below Lake Huron. Fishing there two or three hours. Caught a couple fish in the current seams, a couple small, small mouth, and then caught a few walleye out deeper in the current seams. Never kind of got on the bite that I want to get on. So it's really isolated cover in that current, and you can really pick, you know, you can see where the fish are supposed to be. So you can fish a lot of really good stuff really fast, and we just never had it materialized to something that I felt was good. So I ran on out to Huron. In Huron, I fished a lot of really high percentage rock piles, some grass edges, some holes in the grass, and all the high percentage stuff I fished, I never got a bite off of, but I did catch one almost five, one three and a half, and then like a two or two and a half, just kind of fishing around in some good areas, but it was not quite predictable enough for me to think that I could drive that far. So after fishing in Huron for two or three hours, caught some good fish, just never really felt like they were pinpointed enough to justify going that far took out, drove all the way back down to Lake St. Clair, put back in and fished back around, around the St. Clair Metro Park. So, got back down there, started graphing the isolated patches of cabbage again, and caught some more fish. And then on day four, I went out there, went back to my primary area, graphed a new area, and then found two new patches of cabbage, and instantly caught one almost three pounds, and then one over two pounds out of it. So, after that, I put the rods down, never fished again the rest of the day, and just graphed and marked as many isolated patches of cabbage or holes in the grass that I could find in the right depth zone and in the right area. So, that was my game plan going to the tournament and what I did on day three and four. So, if you like the video, leave a like, leave a comment, hit that subscribe button. We'll see you on the next one.